Hi, I'm Jonathan Wild, and we are going to cover how to record straight line amortization and interest payments for premium bonds. A bond is issued at a premium when the contract rate is higher than the market rate. This premium must be amortized over the life of the bond. In this example, we will show the straight line amortization method. So let's assume a business issues five-year bonds on December 31st with a 6% annual contract rate. The par value of these bonds is 100,000 and includes semi-annual interest payments. However, the market rate for the bonds is lower than the contract rate and therefore sell at a premium price of 102,000. So in this case, we have a premium of $2,000. Next, we want to compute the semi-annual interest payments. We take the $100,000 par value, multiply it by the 6% annual contract rate, and multiply that by one over two, because these are semi-annual interest payments, meaning twice per year. This results in $3,000 interest payments twice per year for the next five years. Now, to amortize the $2,000 premium and record interest expense for each of the semi-annual interest payments, we have to do a short calculation. First, we take the semi-annual interest payment of $3,000 and multiply it by 10 payments to get $30,000. We use 10 payments because we must make two payments per year for the next five years. Next, we subtract the $2,000 premium as this amount reduces our total bond interest expense. This gives us total bond interest expense of $28,000. And we divide that amount by the number of interest payments, which is 10. This gives us bond interest expense of $2,800 for each semi-annual payment. Now, to record our semi-annual interest payments and amortization, we start by debiting bond interest expense for $2,800. Next, we debit premium on bonds payable for $200. This is computed as the total bond premium of $2,000 divided by 10 semi-annual payment periods. Last, we credit cash for $3,000, as this is the semi-annual cash interest payment we computed earlier. This exact entry is made on the semi-annual interest payment dates of June 30th and December 31st for each of the five years of the bond's life. Recording each of these semi-annual entries reduces the unamortized premium and reduces the carrying value of the bonds.